There are so many rocks in the solar system. Trillions of them roam our star system. These spacefarers are too small to be called planets and are given the names of comets, asteroids, meteoroids, and, if they reach Earth, meteors or meteorites. Let's jump to comets for now. Ancient astronomers believed comets foretold the death of princes and the outcomes of wars. Modern astronomers know a comet is just a small solar system body that displays a coma, an atmosphere of a sort, and sometimes a tail passing close to the sun. These dirty space snowballs of mostly ice and dust and not rock formed during the birth of the solar system 4.6 billion years ago. As a comet's orbit takes it toward the sun, the ice and dust heat up and begin to sublimate from solid to gas. That sublimed ice and dust become the comet's tail, so it's easy to spot comets even when they are far from Earth. A second tail is formed when high-energy solar particles ionize the gas, creating a separate ion tail. Comets often have elongated elliptical orbits that will bring them closer to the sun for a while and then away from it for a long time. Some of these orbits last many years, some even millions of years. Halley's Comet is the most famous. It is visible to the naked eye from Earth every 75 to 76 years. The comet's visits have been documented since 240 BC, including by medieval observers. The last time Halley's Comet was in the inner solar system was in 1986 and won't be back until 2061. What about asteroids? These are the rocky and airless leftovers from the formation of planets in our solar system. The composition of asteroids ranges from dark, rocky clumps of rubble consisting of clay and silicate rocks to bright and solid mashups of metals such as iron or nickel. Most of them are found in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, but they can also hang out in other locations around the solar system. For example, some asteroids orbit the Sun in a path that takes them near Earth. The mass of all the asteroids combined is less than Earth's moon, but they are also called minor planets or planetoids. These rocks range from the size of cars to dwarf planets. Ceres is the largest asteroid. It's actually so large that it received a promotion to the status of a dwarf planet in 2006. The same controversial distinction given to Pluto. Most of the asteroids look like giant space potatoes. Only a small number of asteroids are large enough that their gravity forms them into spheres such as Ceres. In the future, when humanity starts sending astronauts to other planets, and maybe even builds bases there. Asteroids could serve as gas stations in space. The water in asteroids could be broken down into its component parts, hydrogen and oxygen, to make rocket fuel. Now, let's jump to meteoroids, meteors, and meteorites. Sometimes, one asteroid can smash into another causing small pieces of the asteroid to break off. Those pieces are called meteoroids. Meteoroids can also come from comets. Some meteoroids originate from the ejected debris caused by impacts on planets or moons. Most of them are about the size of a pebble, with some as big as a meter in diameter. Meteoroids between 10 microns and 2 millimeters are usually called micrometeoroids, and anything smaller than that is just space dust. If a meteoroid comes close enough to Earth and enters the Earth's atmosphere, it vaporizes as the air's friction makes it rapidly heat up and becomes a meteor. The fiery flash, a streak of light in the sky, 
given off by a meteor when it burns up in the atmosphere, can appear brighter than Venus. Most people refer to this as a shooting star. Some meteoroids don't vaporize completely in the atmosphere. When they survive their descent through the atmosphere and hit the ground, they're called meteorites. There are three kinds of meteorites. Stony meteorites, iron meteorites, usually composed of iron nickel, and stony iron that contain a mix of both. About 94% of meteorites are stony, and 6% are a mix of iron or stony iron. Sometimes our Earth passes through the trail of debris left by a comet. When that happens, we are treated to the dazzling fireworks display of a meteor shower. The Perseid meteor shower is one of the most spectacular, happening every year around August 12th. At its peak, 50 to 75 meteors can be seen per hour if the sky is clear. The Perseids are caused by the meteoroids broken off from Comet Swift-Tuttle.